I got a baby now, and uh, she's about 15 months old. We're having a good time. <laughs> and I've been reading some children's books. I've been getting into it. I don't really like to read, you know, I'm not a big reader, but a children's book I can handle, you know. <laughs> we got a couple we're working through right now. We're trying to get through them. <laughs> but one I've been reading with her, it's, uh, maybe you've heard of it, I don't know if you have kids or not, but one of them is called, uh, it's called Ten Little Monkeys Jumping on a Bed. And that book gives away a lot of what's going on just in the title. <laughs> like, it doesn't leave a lot, you know, I mean, you're like, you got a pretty good idea of what's going on right when you start this book. Ten little monkeys are jumping on the bed, so, you know, and that makes sense, because if you got ten monkeys in a the house, they're going to be jumping on a bed, you know what I mean? I've jumped on a lot of beds in my life. So you open the book, and the first line is, ten little monkeys jumping on a bed. We just repeat that. And then it says, one fell off and bumped his head. And that'll happen, you know what I mean? You got ten monkeys on one bed, somebody's going to fall off. I bumped my head a bunch of times, probably not a big deal. But then it says, the mama called the doctor. And so I'm like, all right, well, maybe it is serious. <laughs> and the doctor says, the doctor doesn't really give a lot of medical advice. <laughs> the doctor just says, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So I'm like, all right, well, it's not that serious then because he's not giving really any advice other than just kind of stop doing that. <laughs> and you won't have to clog up the office here. <laughs> but then you turn the page and it says nine little monkeys jumping on the bed, which means they did not listen to the advice. And that monkey is pretty hurt. <laughs> so hurt that that monkey has been like, you know what, I'm not gonna jump on the bed. I may have a concussion here. The doctor didn't help, but I'm not feeling as good as I'd like to feel. <laughs> so you got nine monkeys jumping up there, and you know, what do you know? One falls off, bumps her head. Mama calls the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed, right? So that doctor is useless. <laughs> the mom's useless too. I don't know where she's at. I don't know what she's up to, she's drinking or whatever, but you're just letting those kids run loose in there. And this pattern continues all the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all the way till you get to one monkey's left. These monkeys have been dropping like flies out there. You got one left, jumping on the bed. This is the Royal Rumble Survivor here. This is, you know what I mean? She's on there alone. She got the bed to herself. She survived nine incidents of monkeys falling off. She's finally alone. She got it all to herself. What happens? Falls off. I don't know how it happens. But that monkey falls off, bumps her head too. Doctor comes in, mama, mama calls him. He comes in, says, no more monkeys jumping on the bed, but this time it feels dark the way he says it. Because now he's like, he's just saying, it. yeah. No more monkeys jumping on the bed now, is it? And I don't know what kind of lesson my daughter is supposed to learn from this. That doctors are useless? That your mom's not going to pay attention to you? I mean, definitely the message is not, don't jump on the bed. Maybe the real message is, get a rug. Don't make the floor so hard. Okay, I appreciate that. That's my one dad joke. That's all I'll ever do. <laughs> I don't know if you were clapping because that'll be the only one. But um, 